So this is some of the truth about who His Majesty has sent. The late Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan, who's the founder of the Ethiopian World Federation. All right, and um, just one moment. This right here is, is the article that we have quoted from and we're going to continue to quote from and also post. And we just want you to notice how many parts this article that dated from the 1930s concerning um, Mr. Marcus Garvey, his false accusations, and his divisiveness to the movement. Now, why this truth has been suppressed for so long, um, don't ask me. I is not the suppressor of this, but the revealer of it. And here we see uh, Dr. Malako Manubayan um, on special mission to America for the Ethiopian for the Ethiopian people who writes this particular article. And this is a part of the continual installation. I think this is the second installment of this particular um, article concerning um, is Garvey faithful to himself? Is he really faithful to what he originally declared? That's the same sort of question that could be asked concerning um, John the Baptist. You can say concerning John the Baptist. So there's about three parts to this particular article from the 1930s. And um, there's also this article, um, Mr. Garvey, with our genuine racial attachment, who was which was written by some anonymous, some anonymous person, perhaps an insider, who got to see the light of Ethiopia, of his imperial majesty and vis-a-vis, of Marcus Messiah Garvey. So a real choice has to be made. This is the one whom His Majesty sent. This is he whom His Majesty has sent. And we ask the question, why is there no street or road in the Shashimani um, um, area that has been named after Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan, but why instead has a street or a road in that area been named after Marcus Messiah Garvey? And why do many continue especially in the name of the Ethiopian World Federation, to associate Garvey with the movement and with the Ethiopian World Federation instead of the one whom his imperial majesty has sent. And then when we think about that and we look at the dysfunction today, you understand, it's very clear why that dysfunction has occurred because we're in a state of disobedience. We're in a state of of, of disobedience to the will of our Godfather and King of Kings and are going after Garveyism instead of after Ethiopianism, which was the real movement. When we look at the works of the both the Voice of Ethiopia as well as the Ethiopian World Federation during the years that Dr. Malako Emanuel Bay and even after that time, we can really compare and contrast with the so-called uh, Negro movements of the UNIA and Garvey and Garveyism. So this is a real challenge for us in this time, getting over the dysfunction within the Ethiopian World Federation by putting matters in their proper order. You understand? We have to put matters in their proper order. Yes, Garvey is a part of our history as black people, just as John the Baptist but we have to listen to those disciples who said, we have found the Messiah. We have found the King of Kings of Ethiopia. So we need to remember Malaku Bayan, Malaku, which means his angel. And we also need to, to show and prove it, as many have been doing falsely to Garvey, who proves himself at the latter to be an enemy of the King of Kings as well as a dissembler in the movement. So we have to return to the true foundation laid by his imperial majesty and recognize whom he has sent from whom he has not sent. And then we'll get over the dysfunction within the Ethiopian World Federation, and that organization can once again become a prosperous and a progressive organization for we, the black people, of the world, but as long as we continue to backslide and to go astray and to add in Garveyisms 
to that movement instead of learning of the King of Kings and his Christ, we're going to continue to suffer that, suffer what we're suffering presently today with the dysfunction in the Ethiopian World Federation. And this is the truth from the root. Shalom Rastafari. <laughs>